Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the Online Piano and the Online Violin Tutor. In today's video we're going to be going through a tutorial on Waiting for Love by Avicii on the violin. If you want to know where to get this free sheet music from that I've done for you all, there'll be a link in the description bar directly underneath where you can download and print this out completely for free. I have a really quick, simple and easy piano tutorial out on this as well, so that'll be linked directly underneath this video. So if you want to know how to play Waiting for Love by Avicii on the violin, in, then please keep watching. Okay so as usual I'm just going to take you through the style or how I've actually put this together and what you'll notice here is that above every single note you'll see the finger numbers. So on this one here we've got an open E. I just haven't put opens against those ones because I don't think he, I don't think we need I don't I haven't put them on repeated notes so if that's an open E you can see that they're all going to be open E's as well. That's the second finger same thing, that's the first finger same thing and so on. So wherever you've got new notes I've always put the finger numbers but where you've got them repeated I've obviously just left it blank otherwise it just ends up getting a little bit too busy and, and too much stuff on the paper. I've also written what string you're going to be on as well. So this one here is an E and this is an open E string. So open E, open E, open E, open E. This is a second finger on the A string, second on the A, second on the A, one also on the A string, one on the A. Going over to here, this is still a one on the A, open A, open A. Then this is an E again. So you're staying on the same string until it tells you to change otherwise. This also follows the exact structure of the uh, of the original as well and it's in the it's in the same key as the original. So if you want if you want to get hold of a backing track or you want to play along with the original song then you can use this and this is exactly the same. The first thing I'm going to mention is that your second finger. So I've got some dots here on my violin. The first this is where the first finger would go. This is where the second finger would go. Uh, sorry, the third finger, first finger and third finger dots I've got on here. Now every time you've got a second finger on the A string, it's going to go right behind where the third finger would go. This is this is so important because it will just it will change everything in how it sounds. So the third finger would normally go here on the green dot. The second finger is going to be jammed in right behind it, not in the middle, not next to the first, not sort of next to it, but really next to it. If you want good intonation. It's going to be jammed in right next to the third finger. If you've got a second finger on the D string, it's going to be exactly the same. So if your third finger is here for the D string, your second finger is going to be jammed in next to it. And that's going to be true all the way through this piece. You do um, towards the, the end where it's where you've got um, Monday left me broken, Tuesday I was... I was through with hoping, blah, 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 etc, etc. You do briefly go up to a second finger or a G on the E string. Again, that's going to be right behind where the third finger goes. That's so important. If your second fingers aren't very accurate and you kind of put them down in the middle between the first and the, the third finger, you'll get something that sounds like this. is there but it's not quite right. Now if you had them really up as far to where your third finger goes as possible it would sound like this. So that sounds an awful lot better than the way it was before and everybody wants good intonation, nobody wants rubbish intonation. So that's the first thing with the fingerings. I honestly don't think there's anything anything tricky in the music. I've just been having a look at the music um, and I can't think of anything that is going to be really complicated. Um, normally what makes the pieces complicated is that your fingers are all over the place doing different things all the time but uh, the first fingers are always going to be on the dot, the third fingers are always going to be on the dot and every time you've got a second finger it's going to be jammed in right behind the third finger and that's pretty much it really. It's it's nice and simple, it's in the key of A major. We all love it as violinists so there couldn't be anything trickier about this. Obviously if you guys know the song it's going to make a huge difference with the rhythm and there's words underneath there as well so um, apart from that I honestly don't think there's anything really difficult in here and anything that I think that you're going to be caught out with or anything else that I need to say. Um, maybe other than I do have open E's especially at the start. If you want to replace those for fourth fingers absolutely go ahead. Because 
because if you do fourth fingers, they do sound a lot better than having a, an open or a harsh open string there. But also you can put a little bit of vibrato on if you're doing vibrato and if you can get that in. But first and foremost, I always put open strings in just because they are a lot easier. But like I said, change them for fourths if you want to go ahead and do that. So there we go. Just a nice, quick, simple, easy tutorial. I hope you guys have fun with this. I really, really like this song. Um, and I love playing it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.